If you've watched my recent videos on my main channel, you may have noticed that there were supposed to be five phases of my master plan. But after taking a closer look, you may see that there are only four phases. This video has phase one, this video has phase three, this phase four, and finally phase five. So where did phase two go, and what even are these phases? To understand this, I'm gonna have to take you back to the fall of 2022. I took a course on the power of storytelling, and also the power of being a storyteller. It got my brain jogging on how perspective really changes a story. So when I made the five phases, I had that in mind. The way I like to think about it all is that the Wormhole Project has two storytellers. There's the story of Vitalicy, the helpless player on the server who was fighting Leviathan, his teammates, and the Wormhole all to no avail. This is the player that everyone knew, the player that streamed, who, you know, kept a lot of secrets, but that's the person everyone knew. And then there is the story of me, the man behind the monitor behind the microphone, the guy talking to you right now. The guy who knew about Project Wormhole as it was happening. The guy who actually started Project Wormhole and whose goal was actually to get the exploit patched. Funnily enough, Spoke didn't even know that that was my motive, so when I told him at VidCon that I got the Wormhole glitch patch, he was like, what the heck, man? Anyways, phases one through four is a telling of Vitalicy's story, and phase five is a retelling of phases one through four, but from my perspective, my true perspective. So, treating Vitalcy and me as separate entities, in Vitalcy's story, Phase 1 is removing the end, Phase 2 we'll get back to later, Phase 3 is using the prison, and Phase 4 is using exploits. My story, which is the retelling of everything I just listed but from my true perspective, like me as a human being behind the monitor, is the entire wormhole video I recently posted. I stuck to what genuinely happened, how I felt, what I thought, etc. Phase 2 for Vitalicy was originally gonna be a video solely about building the prison. It was actually gonna be a lot larger than it came out, a kind of hardcore styled video where I make something really big and absurd and super pretty, and it was actually originally not gonna have bedrock. That's where everything went wrong, because before phase two, Spoke and Ashswag used the exploited items too early in our plan and everything got shifted forwards in the timeline. So instead of using Crying Obsidian and uh, Elder Guardians, I ended up using Bedrock since it was already placed all around the server by Ashswag. I actually had to tell Spoken Ashswag to stop, like seriously stop because I had been planning this thing for like eight months and they were totally ruining the entire plan. But yeah, that happened. So Planet Lord eventually found my stupidly placed barrel, which was behind my base. And that shifted everything, all our plans even more. Meaning like the original plan was supposed to gradually introduce each item of the barrel. And then like we'd start flying using the exploit and then we'd start using operator commands to bring things to a whole nother level but with those two mistakes it messed up the entire view of the barrel and exploits on the lifesteal smp how did you guys find this what wait what and then things got repetitive and no longer exciting and fun because the barrel info was all out and as a result of all those mistakes vitalicy's plans got messed up damn betrayed and killed me it uses bedrock and that's oh, okay that Vitalicy at all. And also, my plans got messed up. Again, I'm treating my plans and Vitalicy's plans as separate for now. Funnily enough, Spoke and I actually wanted Zam to betray. Like, I remember being in a call with Spoke and talking with him about when Zam would have to be taken out of the picture so we could start setting up the Doomsday without it being compromised. The issue was that we wanted Zam to stay in Eclipse Federation until Phase 4 when the barrel and exploits were all fully out. It was supposed to be like we build the prison with no bedrock so Zam and Eclipse Federation lives happily and there's no issues at all until I start using exploits in phase four which it would have been like the finale and maybe he'd leave then. If Zam did stick with me after I started using exploits that would have been just fine. It's not like we like actually wanted him out wanted him out but it was more so we just didn't want to jeopardize an 11 month long project. In the end, one thing I learned from all of this was to stop breaking myself into two people. It was a really cool concept to explore, but I shouldn't have and I shouldn't for the future treat Vitalicy as a like separate entity and have my plans be separate. I am Vitalicy. I'm myself. I'm a YouTuber. It's all the same person. I am me. I don't really know how else to say that. Since then, as seen in season 5, I'm showing more of who I really am. And I'm having a lot of fun doing that. Actually,
You suck your teeth into me, oh, blood sucker, fame. Ew, you, you look ugly. 